Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Julie Krabenoft here with a design team project for Ivy Shutters. Thank you so much for joining me today and today I have a project for a design team for Ivy Shutters which I'm really excited to share with you guys. For this project I decided to work with the Tropical Breeze digital kit. It is a newer kit that is available through Ivy Shutters and again it has a vintage feel but with some brighter colors. I really love it. Um, so as the name implies, Tropical Breeze, think exotic locations, think tropical. That's what this kit is all about. And when I first received the kit and I was going through the pages, my original plan was to create another junk journal just because I love creating junk journals. And it's a great way for me to use up all my paper scraps for my other um, card making and different paper crafts that I do. But the more I went through the kit, I realized that this would be the perfect kit for me to try and make my very first mini album. So that's what I've created here is a mini album. I did use Kathy Orta's Hidden Hinge Plus system to put it together. And so that's the base of my um, album. And then besides Ivy Shutter's digital kit, um, Tropical Breeze, I did use some, a paper collection from Authentique called Utopia. And um, I think the Utopia collection went very well with the Tropical Breeze collection from Ivy Shutters. They were like really meant to be. They paired very nicely together. So um, without further ado, I'm going to get into the book here or into the album that I created. So I did choose from Ivy Shutters this image from one of her... Um, pages of this beautiful woman sitting here. I just love it. It looks like she's looking off into the sea or somewhere tropical. Um, so that was one of my favorite images from the whole kit. So I did cut it out and I used some of the other pieces from from this page in, to make tags and different stuff. And then these two pieces right here were part of that authentic um, paper collection. I also added a little bracelet right here with some seashells on it. Um, the background paper came from Hobby Lobby. Um, and on the side, I did choose to add some trim that I had in my stash with some shells on it. I really like how that turned out. And on the back side, I did again cut up one of the Tropical Breeze pages with this little bird on it and I forget what this bird is called it I think this bird comes from like Ecuador or Peru um, but it's a really pretty bird and for this one I haven't decided on a closure yet so I just left it it does right now stay shut pretty good it is really chunky it is a three and a half inch spine and I think I have ten pages in here Six or eight. Yeah, there's eight pages in here or eight eight pages for this mini album. And so when you open it up, I did create this little um, fold out thing here. Um, this is one of the images from the kit. And so you can open it up and then I have little spots here that you can add photos on. Then also in this pocket, like I said, I chose, I have this image right here and then the one in the back and I ended up cutting some of that paper out to make tags, what was left of it, so I didn't waste any of it. And this was just some scrapbooking paper I had in my collection. And this image right back here is one of the the pieces from the kit. It's really pretty. And then right here, um, again, I just did some layering. I have a stamp that says explore and discover there. So I added that with a little tuck spot here. I did create a lot of photo mats. And again, I just used that paper from Hobby Lobby to create those. And then again, here's the the back um, or one of the pieces from the 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 collection and I had a sticker that said Tropical Breeze so I stuck that there. And you can see I just cut um, the page in half to create this one and I created a pocket out of it. 
And then, um, another image from the Tropical Breeze collection. She had, like I said, some different cut parts. You could use them as journal cards or whatnot tags and I did some stamping on the back side or you could also put a really small picture picture there and I had some die cut so if you were to use this as a mini album you could write down some of your favorite things about a trip or whatever on there and then just list like five favorite things or whatever on that one I created a little tag with some scrap paper that I had of pineapples there so those are the first pages. And then in each one, I did create um, pockets here on the side. So I just created some mats. So here is another piece um, from her digital collection. And what I chose to do was just cut out the little image of the lady that was surfing. I backed it with some cardstock to make a tuck right there for a photo mat. And then I had a little sticker that said waves for up there. And then right here I did do have a, a magnet so that it does stick right there. And again this is one of the images from her kit from the kit and then also this little postcard too is from her kit. And so I just created a little photo mat on the back side of that one. And it just slides in right there. And then on this side right here, um, I just stuck some of that authentic paper collection and then a rubber stamped image of a seashell. So you could put a little photo right there. And on this section right here, if you take out all these pieces again, here is one of her pieces of paper. And again, I just chose to make a tuck spot out of it. I really like how that one turned out. Um, uh, just a photo mat. This is one of the images from the collection with the seashells on it. And then on the back side, it's a little photo mat. And then she had, again, this is a cutout. I think it was a square, a square tag. And I just chose to cut out the tag shape and layer it on another one. And the last side on the back, I just stamped the word go barefoot. So you could either put a really small picture here or journal about some of the pictures on the back side of that one. And again, from that image from the front side of that beautiful lady looking off into the sunset or off into the sea, some of the paper that was left, um, I cut out this tag out of that. So that's that page. And then again, I have a photo mat right here on the side that pulls out. The next page here um, here's one of the pages that I cut in half and I did use the other half for a tag so it didn't go to waste. Um, you can see here some of that part of that paper that I cut out and made tags out of. So I had a pocket there so I have another photo mat that I stick in Inside that pocket. Another tag that I created using leftover scraps from the paper collection or from the digital kit. And then a couple just um, tags using scrap papers from my collection. And then for this one, I really like how this one turned out. It's kind of fun. I created a tag that I just put it in the pocket and you can also attach a little photo right here if you wanted to but I really like this image and didn't want to cover it up of the hula girls and the little drummer right there and again I have a photo mat when you turn the page right here um, I love this image from the kit this bird is a Quetzal, and when my husband and I were in Costa Rica, that was one of our main birds that we went to go see. And so I did have my husband print off a picture of it, um, just so you can kind of see what it looks like in real life, what that bird looks like. Um, but it has this really long tail, and this is the male bird. And the female is almost as pretty, and um, it just has a shorter tail, so this one would probably be a female right there. 
But the one interesting thing about this bird is that they eat um, avocados. So when we were there watching, it had this this bird, both the male and the female were feeding its babies in the tree. And the, so they were bringing it little avocados. So that was kind of fun. And then the, here's a couple more pictures from our Costa Rica trip of the macaw. And then one of the tropical frogs that they have there, the tree frog. And so now back to the little album here. So I have this little tuck spot that I created that you could stick another photo mat in. You could put a photo right here. And then here's a couple tags that I created using pieces from the Tropical Breeze digital kit collection. And then the back sides I just did leave blank so that you could journal or add small pictures. And so for this one, again, um, I cut up one of the papers and just made a tuck spot out of it. And then added the word paradise with a little flower down there. I believe this was part of an envelope. She had two envelopes in the the kit and I just cut it out into a tag and then I used the other pieces in uh, different parts of the the mini album here. I created a really small photo mat to tuck into there. This one I do have a magnet that opens up. And I created two belly bands. So here's the top one. Um, just used a punch for my collection there. And so um, this one I used pineapple paper, I guess. And then another belly band down here with some paper um, that I had leftover paper. And then here, this little tag I created using um, leftover pieces from the digital kit when I was cutting out other things. And again, I have a photo mat in the side there. Here I created another type of belly band, um, the long way this time, and this one is part of the digital kit. And then I have um, just a stamped image that I created with a backside that you could use as a photo mat. And again, stamped image. And then this was just uh, another piece of paper that I'd gotten from Hobby Lobby. Then here I did take a page and I cut it in half and layered it up so I have some magnets right here. So there's room to add a photo right here and then also a small one right here. And so they do open up and then on the back sides I have just spots for photos again. Um, and both of these you can tuck in a photo right here. I left these open right here so you can tuck them in. I created another belly band. And then here's another one of the fun little postcards or cutouts that she had in the collection tags. Um, I really, really like that one with the pink or with the flamingos on it. And the back side I left blank so you could add a picture. And another photo mat. And this opens up again for photo mats on both sides. And so here's the next page right here. Um, I really like this page too with the water on it. And I just again did a little cutout so you could stick, you can stick a photo in here plus or the photo mat. She did include a lot of lined paper in the digital kit. And so here's one of them that I cut out and I just made it into a photo mat or you could actually journal on it just depending upon if you're someone who likes to journal also. And then a tag I used with some of the leftover papers from the kit. And again, I created another tuck spot right here for, you can add a photo right here, glue one down if you want, or just tuck in the photo mats. And again, here's some more of the, her line paper. This one's really pretty with uh, the little shore bird on it. And so that's also part of the digital kit too on the back side there. And this was one of the cutouts from the kit the digital kit and I stamped on the back side. So again, you could journal or add um, a small picture there. Another photo mat. And so on this one, you can see a lot of the tags that I created using leftover pieces 
Um, all these tags right here came from leftover pieces of the line paper that I used um, from the kit. Another tag that I created with the pineapple paper I had in my collection, just a little pineapple tag. Um, so that tucks in there. And then I do have another photo mat or a journaling spot using the kit for up there. And again, there's room to add a photo right here if you want. And on this one, again, I did another tuck spot from the paper. Um, I had a really hard time cutting up the paper. It was so pretty, so I wanted to um, incorporate as much of it as I could into the kit or into the mini album here that I created. So I just cut, it, cut the little image out of this gentleman playing um, his ukulele or whatever that's called. Another postcard that was included in the kit left the backs for a photo. A tag I created and again using some of the leftover paper um, I layered onto that tag. Another photo mat. Then on this side right here um, one of the images from the kit. I love this one and there's a spot here so you could tuck a Tuck a photo up here. You could glue a photo down or tuck a one of the mats, photo mats in there. And these are just um, cutouts from that authentic paper collection. Like I said, it just went really well with this kit, I thought. And then here's the other image um, that matches this page. The tropical bird, a toucan or something like that. So those tuck in right there and then I also created again using some of the line paper a little tag and the back sides I left blank so you could add small pictures if you wanted. And this tag also was created using some of the leftover paper. And this photo there's a photo mat on both these sides I forgot to show you guys this one too. Um, besides the big the big one right here um, behind this image I made another photo photo mat and these ones were some of the line paper in the collection so lots of spots in this album to add pictures and then the back or the last page right here I have a little banner here that I tucked in a tag this came from the authentic collection and then the one that I created using some of her line paper and another photo mat and then you can see the surfer dude on on that one and then this really pretty image right here of a tropical woman with flowers or a lay looks like maybe she's creating a lay or something flower lay and then the back side again of my mini album. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my first mini album that I created. I had a lot of fun working with this tropical kit. It was a really fun kit to work with. And again, it was called Tropical Breeze. And you can find it at Ivy Shutters on Etsy.